I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. How many teaspoons of salt does it take to float an egg? I'm Yang Wenqing of Juying Secondary School. I love teaching science. I love asking my students questions about the natural world to set them thinking. And when my students figure out answers to their questions and I see the awe in their eyes, it tells me that I've sparked curiosity in them. I was very curious and in awe when the egg started to float. This is because when I added salt into the beaker of water, this resulted in the solution's density to increase, causing the egg to float. This was very interesting because such a small change resulted in such a big difference. I got my students to film videos of themselves performing DIY home science experiments because I want them to be able to speak confidently about science as well as communicate the scientific concepts behind what they are doing. Of course, in the process, some of the students met with failures because um, they did not succeed the first time, but it was a good learning process for them. When I carried this out the first time, I was also uncertain about the product that the student will give me. But in the end, they surprised me with their resourcefulness because they were able to use own applications not just to create videos but to edit videos. We were tasked with this home-based science video project during our break. My DIY project was based on Newton's cradle to prove the principle of conservation of energy. It's through this DIY project that actually taught me that um, it's okay to actually fail and it's through failure that we can actually learn and grow as a person. To develop students' innate curiosity, I take them through inquiry-based learning experiences where they get to design and execute their own experiments. This way, the students get to experience the full nature of science as well as its failures. I learned that physics is easier to learn in hands-on compared to in lessons as it is all about researching and experimenting with the things that you have. So it might look like simple fun but we actually learned a lot while we were experimenting with the car. Building toy cars might seem fun but it was quite a challenging project to work on. In the process of making the toy car, a lot of teamwork and many tries were needed before we were successful because at some point in time, we felt like giving up but we persevered on. One of the greatest challenges my group faced was in adjusting the wheels until it was balanced enough to ensure that the toy car moved straight. When the toy car finally moved straight, we were so happy. In every of my science lessons, I hope to spark curiosity in my students. Some students are not confident about their abilities in science, but I believe we can effect a change by providing authentic learning experiences as well as inspiring in them a love for the subject through my own passion and enthusiasm in the classroom. <laughs>